This episode's FDR shoutout goes to Noodle Child 666 Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. It's a mess today, y'all. Y'all, what's going on? Welcome back to Fish for Thought. Cory Gang, Fish Fam, Low Gang, let's freaking get it. We in the building today. Any other introverts in the comments? Maybe COVID turned you into an introvert. I was kind of an introvert and now I'm like an extreme introvert. Do I leave the house today? Nah, tomorrow. It's always tomorrow. Welcome back to the Monday. I see Rapashi right there, but she's not gonna be in this video. Why? Because I said so. I'm the main host of this whole channel, bro. <laughs> this is my show, bro. Without further ado, what are these? Am I Trump? Fish tank review. Do you know that a capybara is a fish? View. This bitch is literally riding the goldfish. Is he eating him? I have shivers down my spine. I was gonna try to react, but like I couldn't say anything because I was sh I was busy shivering. I got I got the chills. This video straight up gave me COVID symptoms. How did this happen, my dude? First of all, that's a cockroach, right? Cockroaches are one of my worst fears. At first, I thought, you know, this the very first thought I had was like this fish got some like scale damage because it's in a too much ammonia and it's not healthy. And then I see that that is a whole insect six legs arthropod on that fish running it like a cowboy damn that's a massive i didn't know roaches could also be submarines i i knew they could be airplanes and fly but i did not know about their submarine abilities if this was my hero academia roaches would dominate this is like one for all shoot man did you put the roach in man if i see a roach in my house i'm outy i am gonna live in my car live in my car what i'm sorry y'all i i like insects are you sure about that? Yes, I like insects with something about a cockroach like scurrying away. Whoa, this is wild even for this sub. We've seen sharks in a tank, tanks filled with bettas upon bettas, plecos in five, 0 0.5 gallons, but a cockroach riding a goldfish? That's new. This ain't his first rodeo. Not even funny, man. I can't even laugh at that. I just get that vicarious experience. You know how like they're your pets, right? Like fish are your pets. And if you see a cockroach, a darn cockroach riding that thing, it's like I'm being red. It's like it's riding me. I feel like my back is tingly. I can hold spiders and stuff, but I think it's because cockroaches are not known to be pets. Like if I saw a wild tarantula in my house, I would freak the hell out. But if it is a kind of somewhat tame, sort of like it's a pet, like a pet praying mantis, I'm all right with it. The sea one loose in the wild, but it's in my house, just scurrying on the ground like Come on, man, that's not cool. Thanks, I hate it so much. I effing hate roaches. All right, I'll get in line, I guess. We got some other roach haters. Before I had a bearded dragon, I've never fed my bearded dragon even dubia roaches. I never even went close to those things, man. New fear unlocked, being ridden by a cockroach. Exactly. How come I've never heard that they can ride underwater? <laughs> like it's a damn seahorse and they're like Black Knight. Forget big, that thing is doing fine underwater. Underwater. My whole body itches, my soul itches. Y'all, let's take a break. I need a shower. I need to put on some socks and wear shoes to feel safe again. Speaking of shoes, a lot of you have been asking me why there is a shoe on my fish tank. Seems a little odd. Good question. I don't really know why there is a shoe on my fish tank, but I do know that I made it. I designed this shoe, I'm pretty proud of it. It is part of the escapism line of apparel that you can buy on escapism.com. Cool pair of sneakers, if I do say so myself. They are not, you know, you're not gonna do athletic exercises in them, but I just realized I haven't ever pushed these. Like I haven't ever told people about these on the channel verbally like this, but they have been selling. I think they're on sale right now. It's a whole line of apparel and there's some other stuff like the escapism towel there's t-shirts hoodies yeah check it out escapism.com all right thank you for supporting the channel back in my day we kept goldfish in bowls okay grandma let's get you to bed this is the future that i cannot wait for because it's like wow it's such a ridiculous thing that nobody even believes that's ever happened that is the future that we should all strive for i want to be a grandfather one day and tell people about fish tank review when youtube is long gone instead of like 30 second 
videos that you see on TikTok is one second because that's how degenerated our attention spans have become. And I'll be telling my grandkids, I used to host this show called Fish Tank Review where they put betta fish and goldfish together in bowls. And they'll be like, okay, grandpa, chill out, bro. This tank is sent in by Sikhara, 15 gallon Ember Tetra Blackwater Biotope with some chili rasporas, coolie loaches, and a mono shrimp. I see a little bit of both. Oh, this is a nice picture. I see that little coolie loach. You can see the see-throughness of the Ember Tetras. Everything's looking quite nice. And the floaters up top looking like a uh, frog bit, sending those long roots covering up most of the tank. Super natural scape. I love it. The Blackwater Biotope makes it really healthy for the fish, healthy tannins. 4.45 out of 5. Keep it up. What am I looking at here? Damn. Is there actually a fish in there? Let me try to zoom in on that thing. That looks like a glowfish, y'all. Let me just check the comments real quick. Am I blind? I can't spot the fish. Pink glowfish tetra being squished by the plant stem. Holy crap. The type of fish that needs really wide, at least a 20 gallon long, if you're asking me. Slenderman's wine bottle, everyone. It looks like there's a planted tank right beside it. What is this guy doing, y'all? You don't have to be a vet to know that <laughs> if the fish cannot swim around anymore, that that's not cool. Like, I feel like if I bring it up to people on TikTok, they'd be like, dude, are you a vet? You got your vet license? No? Then shut up. This fish is fine. You don't know anything. That's a real galaxy brain move right there. Pet photos versus Daniel owner. <laughs> Better fish just stay so still and so nice for you. Flaring up their fins. You don't even need a quick f-stop. I don't think I ever taken a good photo of a zebra Daniel or any dither fish for that, but especially zebra Dan. Oh, Tamago just made a splashy sound. I thought she jumped out. Good thing it's impossible to jump out of that tank. Eddie Money sent in this fish tank of their solo betta fish nope got some harlequin rasboras other than that this whole tank is for that betta fish basically got a pretty interesting scape with that wood the backdrop is blue but they've kept it a little bit more natural with actual freshwater plants at least it's not a whole coral husbandry on point nutrient rich substrate the betta looks healthy vibrant some floating wisteria up top i like the little mossy attachments i was going to give this a four out of five but because of that mossy attachment on the woods i just want to see it grow out 4.1 out of five keep it up Psh, reefing is easy. Turns whites on. Oh, what is that? Is that even the same tank? This is like if somebody does a really good job on their makeup and then they don't wear makeup the next day. Oh, dang, son. Like there's nothing wrong with makeup, but if it's a whole different person. This tank is sent in by Meg, one of the FFT Discord mods. And actually probably one of the original three FFT Discord mods right when I first started the Discord server. It's almost like a superhero thing. The Fantastic Three. I think Ben was one of the Fantastic Three as well. Um, and the third one we shall not can't really remember what happened there but there's a 20 gallon with 15 ember tetras three very senior neon tetras clown pleco okay okay meg coolie loaches shrimp and leeches not my first choice of stocking but i think the leeches were not welcomed in the tank because this tank is getting taken down real quick meg just wanted to take a quick picture of this tank before taking it down probably because of the leeches but looks like this tank's gone through a good run it looks quite established i don't know what the filtration is like i don't know how much water changes you do if you ask me, that's a little overstocked, but because you're one of the original three, the original three Sanin from Naruto, it's a five out of five. What can I say? Mod privilege, y'all. Don't ask me. Next question. I'm not trying to beef with my mods here, bro. Pick your battles. So there's a small issue with my piano. I, it's hard to explain. I'll just show you. This episode's FDR shout out goes to Grayson. It always makes a noise, and then I play. Fish tank review. It does that as well. <laughs> Yeah, can help? This this meme is sent in by Vin. I love it. First time I watched it caught me straight up off guard. This is the second time and it's still funny AF. Vin, I wonder if you edited the sound in into the video or did you actually customize the keys? Damn good discount. 1,300 to 1051. If you ask me that, how what percent is that? That's like a 99% discount right there. It is definitely a great discount. High fin platy. High discount platy. Now did you put it like that? Very worth save up to 20%. Don't you mean like save up to 200%? I didn't think high fin platies were worth $10 a pop. This seems like a good idea. Pet Keeper 48 send in their axolotl tank. Now if you watch FTR, you know that we're not going to actually give a rating for these axolotl tanks because it's unfair because it's so much harder to escape an axolotl tank. There's so much more you have to consider. And I think Pet Keeper 48 considered this tank pretty well, but I'm not an axolotl keeper. What do you guys think? Is this axolotl certified? The I probably shouldn't have pets starter pack. Ooh, Ben 
plentiful. Snap. Savage, bro. That hamster cage. Yeah, no hamsters should live in there. The rabbit cage, the turtle tank. It's supposed to be an insect carrier. That bird cage is not even big enough for budgies. Maybe finches? What do you guys think? I'm not an expert on finches. And of course, the betta fish. I am the resident expert on that. And that is too small for even one betta. And they're splitting it. Meow mix. I've not even heard of meow mix before. And it looks straight up trash. Now, you might think, hey, you skipped the bearded dragon feed. No, I'm saving that for last. Because I have a old darn story that I love to tell. A coworker of mine didn't work too long there at the pet smart but when, when she was working there man she actually straight up sold a baby bearded dragon along with the bat pellet food i couldn't believe my eyes i didn't care about image at that point i went to the customer and be like you cannot raise up a baby bearded dragon on pellets first of all they won't even eat it killer capybara sent in this fish tank oh rimless nice and long a little bit low boy-esque look at that wood oh my that's a beautiful arch alfredo the betta looking beautiful looking different dwarf sash carpet anubia's nana i think it's dwarf water lettuce because of that root right there Let's go. 5 out of 5 for me for identifying these plants. That's right, I'm giving myself a 5 out of 5. This is a 4.8 out of 5. Keep it up. Changing my substrate and it looks like my cat crapped in my tank. Well, crappy aquariums, this is where it belongs, bro. Frankenstein Labs. Man, it is especially hard to change substrate when you have fish tank all the way set up. I've tried it like maybe once or twice in my life and it's always been a huge hassle. What I would recommend instead if you really have to do something to the substrate, just add the new substrate on top and cover it because there is a chance if you do that to keep everything still balanced and not looking like a murky mess. Good luck to you, bro. I hope it's already better by the time this video comes out. I feel like this needs to be said after watching the last FTR. Drink some water, Chrissy. Yeah, this is about, this is a few FTRs ago. I tested like five times. My girlfriend tested like five times. Neither of us were positive. My family, her family never got anything. At the same time, people were saying it's allergies, but I never get allergies. But I do drink a lot of water. Your boy is thirsty. It's not what I meant. I just like to stay hydrated. Hydro homies, never forget it. This fish jar found on a fish selling website. You know what I always say, try to, if you have to use fake plants, try to make them silk, try to not have like serrated edges. Like what is this? Do they think Venus flytrap exists underwater or what? It's like they heard my advice and they're like, no, we don't trust that guy. Let's do the exact opposite. Let's find the sharpest, most jagged edges of plastic. Might as well put a blender, put some razor blades in there. What's stopping you, honestly? Went to a house party and saw this. It smells so bad. Hey, nothing says party than foul smelling disgusting fish abuse water Ooh. is it even a party without one of these there like the first thing i think of when i see this is bad body odor from whoever's hosting the party and there's gonna be like a ping pong table with some beer pong and budweiser i guess i don't know kokanee light does that exist it's piss water at this point i'd like to know the correlation between people who have this in their homes and who host parties who also have taken advantage of their date because i feel like the correlation is high if you can abuse animals you can abuse humans which are also animals. Step one, get red solo cup. Step two, pour water and betta in cup. Step three, run. We do not condone stealing fish here, okay? I've seen a lot of people say, just steal it, just this, just that. Stealing's never okay and not endorsed by churs. So next time you're like, what would churs do? Because I know that's what you think of on a regular basis. You think of me when it's not even Monday or Wednesday or Fridays because I post videos those days too, mom. Ah, yes, what a lovely betta fish. <laughs> Bed of fish and 10 gallon tank. $200. Wow, that's a fat ass bed of fish. <laughs> Come with filter 10 gallon tank. Everything you see in the photo just want gone. That indeed is not a bed of fish. That's actually a convict cichlid hybrid with a parrot fish, I believe. Damn, really close to piecing out over here. 200 bucks though. For a 10 gallon, that's a steal. Who's getting stolen by from whom? I, don't ask me. I don't condone it. I thought that was a common pleco, not an angel fish. However, I then saw the plant and realized it was a salmon fish. This comment made more sense than the post. I feel like I just had an aneurysm. Great time to end on a, that note, I guess. Welcome back to the end of the video, guys. Hope your Monday has been cheered up successfully. Have a great rest of your week. Don't forget to check in on Wednesdays and Fridays. Come on, y'all. I'm trying to keep you guys entertained for the whole week. Get you primed for that Saturday good good. All right, y'all, before I let you guys go, question of the week. <laughs> 
Wait, I usually say Katwa. What is your favorite pizza topping? I'm about to skit. I need to eat some pizza. I haven't eaten a pizza in like a month. I need to know what the best topping is. Give me some topping recommendation. At the same time, go check out my food channel, Chris Wang. Yes, that is my name and my channel. If you like food, you trust me, you don't want to be missing out on that unless you do, which means you don't like food, which means we can't be best buds, bro. You can't be out here not enjoying food. Then you'd be like Mark Zuckerberg. You a whole lizard. All right, this episode got kind of weird. I'm in a certain mood. Did I have coffee? today all right peace out y'all don't forget to get your hands wet <laughs> tetra 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 we in a spot coming in hot ventral fin die acclimate that with my shoal at here my fin rot from caraciformes to parenture road on hold on there's not another fish that you can wish for live fam says i finna one i finna gone three days without fur i'm an addict like fanatic i'm a baddest no tabs only dirt my cory gang so loyal black tetra go skirt we came to play came to silence gang